I want to read something. Just, just one thing too, and I'm done. And I'm done. This is it. Um, you said you're working your way into salvation, right? I, I want you to take these words to the heart, okay? Titus three five, where he says, um, or and four, he says, but when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. So we're being, we're being justified by grace. Like it is a mercy of God. You can work from now until the end of your days and still end up in a real place called hell, a Christless eternity. I don't want that for you. You can't work your way to salvation. And listen, coming from a Catholic background, I believe as you did, I'm going to keep working my way till I get there. And the Bible says you can't. But, you know, by works of the flesh, no, by, 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 uh, what is it? By, by works of the law shall no flesh be justified. You can't justify yourself by not only, works. Not only by, I, and I, I'm familiar with that. I, I would, I instantly thought of St. Paul. It's a letter. Yes. Oh, watch out. I, I just, Titus thing, but reference through me because I'm not familiar with that. But yes. It's a letter. That's one of Paul's Paul letters, yeah. And, you know, historically, James, the, the, the wing of the church of James and the wing of the church of, of Paul had, you know, what's what's fascinating to me is the Gospels have, it's it's an interesting work of these, uh, assuming all of the words in there were all of the words originally said by yeah. those people who were yeah. either apostles or closely associated with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just assume that. If you read those words and they're inspired by God, there's differences in the words and there's differences to the appeal. So I think there's. Can you explain that when you say there's differences? Sure. Um, I get like an example. Paul Paul had an evangelical. In, to use short, to use a short term, Paul had an evangelical approach, such as that letter, that okay. excerpt of the letter you read. Um, while James had a much more, uh, what I call an old Catholic school. Your good works are what, what you'll be judged I know exactly what you're talking Can about, I, brother. Mind if I... Please, please. I'm Jeff, by the way. Hi, Jeff. I'm Mike. Mike. I didn't, I didn't introduce myself. Pleasure, myself. pleasure to For meet all you. For the obvious reasons, I appreciate... And you weren't hostile. You were worried about we, what manner I was coming here in. We appreciate you out here. We, we see you out here as a, as, a, as, a, as a... God sent you out here to hear this. So, you, you're... It seems, Mike, you're saying that there's a difference between Paul's explanation of how a person is justified or has peace with God versus James. Like there's two different schools of thought. I, I, I think there are from why, from those. Why would you say that? Original works that we have. We have James's letter. So are you? What are you taking from James? Where you think he's in opposition to what Paul is saying? Well, there, uh, James wrote a whole gospel that that's. I got it right wait, here, brother. Well, he, he didn't write. He wrote. He wrote a gospel. He, it's it's the letter of James. I, I would, I, given my upbringing, that's how. Sure. I, and, and the only difference, it really doesn't matter what one calls them. He wrote more, it, well, I guess it does. There's sort of a hierarchy, at least in my mind, my belief system. Gospels, um, um, gospels are the works that God inspired those people to write. Okay. Letters are those people's human messages to folks who were at illiterate. At so you disagree with St. Peter? I don't know. Obviously, P Peter says that there were unstable men who were twisting and distorting Paul's right, his right. letter letters. He says um, as they do the rest of the scriptures. So he equates Paul's letters with the what is Theonoustos, breathed out by God, Old Testament scriptures. So he he disagrees with you. Peter does that Paul's letters are just his letters, his own personal opinion. He says they're the very scripture of God. So here's, here's the great thing about religion and religious beliefs. Can you answer that, though, before you change the subject? I think there are other people who wrote Gospels yeah. who had different opinions. Well, I'm, I'm referring to how St. Peter talks about Paul's writings. You disagree with him. I don't disagree that that, that was St. Peter's uh, Editorializing, not his gospel, but his editorializing on. Why are you a Roman Catholic? He, well, uh, well, a loose one. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's better to say I was raised in the tradition of okay. the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. I, I I I have never fallen from the church, so to speak. Okay. I have certain. Do you believe that Peter was the first pope? Um, I believe Peter went to Rome and founded the church. 
I, would you would you I, say that was would you say he was like the chief of the apostles? I mean, I, 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 hmm, no, I think all the apostles. Some of them were better orators and writers than others. Frankly, I think they were all. I don't think I, even even. I mean, I think if, if we take the words that are attributed to Jesus as true, then we have to allow that. Uh, even um, even the worst of the disciples, you know, the the deniers and the doubters and the traitors were equal apostles with the others. Well, I was, what I was trying to do is was try to try to communicate with you on on some ground that I, I would hope that you accept as a Roman Catholic, and that was Peter has a pretty important position as an apostle. In the Roman Catholic Church, but but you don't you don't accept that. Uh, that's that's fine. I, 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 I I don't accept he was the, the, and I'll tell you, Catholicism teaches you that Peter was the favored Roman well, Right, favored that's why I was pointing you to his words where he disagrees with you. I think Jesus believed all of his human companions were people who were trying to be of faith and and find meaning in God's word. I believe right. that's true, and I think he, and I think he recognized, and I think maybe his greatest teaching was his ability to forgive those who caused him to be killed, for heaven's sakes. Right. What a wonderful, wonderful Well, to, not to get too far off the path here, I'm pointing to the fact that the apostles themselves disagree with your assessment of their writings. You're saying it's just their personal writings, their opinions, but Peter actually equates them. Well, Peter equates Paul's writings with scripture. That's the Old Testament revelation, the word of God. And so... Well, if you look at what they were doing at the time in, in, in terms of when they were doing the works, the Gospels are accounts where they sat down and said, this miraculous thing happened and we have enough space and distance from it now to recount these things because we were told to by our boss, Jesus, and we feel inspired by God to do so. Those, I think, are the Gospels. When they then went out into the world, I believe, I believe, I'm trying to remember who went where. I believe James, no, Paul went to uh, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but he started up towards Turkey. Right. James went to Egypt. Well, James uh, was in. James was killed in Jerusalem. He was. He was actually in right. Jerusalem. Actually, James remained an ardent Jew who advocated for that there wasn't a separate religion of Christianity. That that it actually was a part of. Uh, of Judaism. Well, that's what the New Testament argues that uh, Christianity is is we are the seeds that we are the, the sons and daughters of Abraham. So right. we would agree that we are true spiritual Jews. Those who reject Christ, Jesus calls the synagogue of Satan, even though they are Jewish by ethnicity. But back to the point, you're arguing that James gives a different version of how a person has peace with God than the Apostle Paul. So can I ask you where you would get that idea from James? Sure, from the from the text of their different messages. What what in James makes you think oh, that James disagrees with Paul? I I have not read those. So you don't, you're making a claim about it, uh, about a conflict in scripture that you can't even so, demonstrate. But, but, and I understand you came later to the conversation. Um, this part of our discussion is my respectful attempt to listen to yeah. you, to genuinely, yeah. actively listen to yeah. what you're saying. Um, because I, I think the path, I think there's a, a danger, frankly, in reaching a conclusion that the words mean one certain thing. But you did. But you did argue that the words meant something in James. You believed. What? Well, and I guess well, the main point here is, Elvis is trying to give you the good news that you can have peace with God through faith in Christ yeah, right. apart from your own My only point sin is and, and unrighteousness. I, I stopped for different reasons. I've spent time, good time valuable time not wasting time yeah. having this discussion and that's fine. well i guess i wanted you to hear my heart on this my main concern for you was to hear what elvis is pointing you to that the bible the bible teaches we conclude that a man is justified declared righteous by faith apart from the works of the law you know you know what what i if, if, if i'm going to jump in real to, quick but unfortunately i have to go serve caesar okay I things i need to I, do I, I get it like the issue isn't you know peter peter and james and, and the issue is justification like um the the reformation the crux of, of the reformation was justification by faith or by works how was a man justified before god you've heard a few things about 
James conflicting with Peter or, or Paul. Those things aren't true. Those are in-house discussions. I was just ready to actually uh, discuss it, but that's not your issue. Your issue is, you know, your heart getting right with God. You need to be born again. You remember we talked about that earlier? Unless a man is born again, he will not enter the kingdom of God. That's your issue. Wrestle with that tonight. Say, what must a man do to be born again? Your first birth is in Adam. It's in sin. It'll lead you to hell. Your second birth is a, is a spiritual birth. It's in Christ. That's what it means to be born again. And that is what God is looking for in you. He wants you to be born again. He sent you out here to hear this message. Because you said you're seeking, right? Always. You said you're always seeking. And you drove. You, you, you said for 20 years you've been driving past this place. And God put you out here to hear this message, Mike? Well, I think I, think I, I exercise my gift from God, my free will, yeah. out of concern for genuine concern yeah. for you all because I think you, you, you better serve wearing masks yeah. we have enough we don't have worry about that right now brother except you admit your mask doesn't work well it's what I had so yeah I but it doesn't work yeah but again you know we, we can go down that rabbit trail Jesus again Jesus did what he could with what he had yeah um, we can go down that rabbit trail listen we're, we're all going to die someday, Mike. Yeah. Jesus is God. Mask, was... mask or, not, or no mask, we're all going to die, and we're all going to stand before True God enough. on Judgment Day. True enough. The Bible says it's appointed for man once to die, and then comes a judgment. There's no purgatory, by the way. Purgatory is a, is a myth. It doesn't exist. It's You stand before God, and the Bible says every man will be judged on that day. It's either you're in or you're out. You're in heaven or you're in hell. There's no middle. There's no, there's no net that's going to catch you. And someone's going to absolve your sins through some some meritorious works for the next ten thousand years, I, I right? Absolutely understand. So you do agree with that? I, so I, I, there's a difference. My my, and then and it's it's a it's a sad part of our society. Yeah. As we just witnessed. And by the way, I filmed that atrociousness. Sure. I didn't think that that's not right. You have a right to be here. Today. Yeah. They have a right to, I suppose, to exercise their freedom of speech that way too. Sure. I wish that um, we, and, and on this issue, I, I, there is no middle ground for folks, I understand. On what, what issue, uh, what exactly? On, a, on abortion. Oh yeah. And as I said, I'm not here to try to because our opinion anybody is, out of not being here. Our, our, I think you have an absolute right to be here. Yeah. And I think you and I probably would have more in common at a personal level regarding this issue than we would have apart. Sure. That's not the purpose of me. I am not those people. And, and Mike, you know, I'm, you know. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Very, very different. Person. Isaiah sure. said. I'm just all asking all you to watch out for your brothers and sisters. Maybe look a little further than one. Maybe look at some newer literature. Um, I actually refused to wear masks originally based on the same things that I heard about here today from your colleagues. There's much better newer science. Yeah, and and, and I think if we're true believers in faith and we truly are striving to uh, to help the encourage those and encourage ourselves to do what we think we need to do to earn that salvation, that trying to accept well, that, and that, the work of good people, trying to do honest work. Well, to, that that would be the key thing, Mike. Is just what you said there. God to wants earn, us to live as long as we can. To earn our salvation, you just said that. Yeah, that's the key issue. I think you're not. You haven't quite heard yet. Is that you well, cannot? I've heard. I've heard I, I understand. Right. You're, that you're, you can't earn it. I understand. Right. I but you that. just said yes. to earn it. I, that's my belief. Right. And I was saying, what? Well, that's my main concern and you're for you. You're worried for me because you believe if I that you're not looking to, to Christ. Right. I understand. Yeah. It's and it's. I appreciate that. It's I, His righteousness we all need. His perfection. Your 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 life and my life before a holy God are unrighteous, sinful, and God is a holy God and a just judge, and he cannot simply let our sins go. So they either went to Christ on the cross and we received the gift of his righteousness through faith, or you and I will stand before God judged because of our guilty life. I, I, I tend to believe it's, it's a combination of the two. God is not unjust. He cannot give a he cannot give a pass Which over. I absolutely believe. He's not a god of confusion either. Well, if he's not a god of confusion. There are well, a fair number of people who who will never exactly hear of Christ, right. never. The same as I and I, I can't believe, one, I don't believe all those people are bad. I believe there's well, probably the, lots of good people. people. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is none good, no, not one, none who seeks for God. Well, I, that's everybody. That's, by the way, Paul quoting from the uh, Katina verses from the Old Testament. That's a, oh, that's the testimony of scripture. You said you have free will. Jesus says you're a slave to sin. I, you think you you think you're free. You're making choices, yes, but you're not free. You're a slave. Those are just 
differences of opinion. That's what Jesus said. Well, you see, our opinions have to come from a source, right? No. Where's your... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Jesus says we're a slave to sin. Do you disagree with him? I disagree Jesus said that. Okay, what, what is your textual, critical analysis that allows you to believe that? Because there is, there is, as far as I know, in the manuscript tradition of the thousands and thousands of manuscripts that go all the way back to those early centuries of the church, they all say the same thing. I will, I will, I will agree. You all are much more well prepared today than I would be to have that debate. With well, can you. I can I just challenge you with this, Mike? Mike, just real fast. I want you to speak graciously to you. I want you to hear this. This isn't a matter of a battle of wits. I want to say this to you, Mike. You're making a lot of claims about Scripture and how a person knows God that you can't even justify. Well, You've adopted beliefs that you that. you've adopted beliefs you've never examined. After a lifetime, well, I have. I, that, that's an unfair statement that I haven't examined it because I have. Well, I gave you a verse from Jesus where he says you're a slave to sin, and you said that you, Jesus didn't say that, but you have no basis sure. to say he didn't say. And John, that. I guess the analogy I would use is, I could tell you what case cases give you the right to do what you're doing? Can you tell me what those cases are? You can't. You should leave. Uh, that would be a very bad argument. No, but we're talking about spiritual I, I could, matters here. Entitled to. Yeah, uh, we're, I, we're but I would, I would give you an answer if I told you why I believed we can do this. I would give you answers from Scripture. I'd give you answers from the law. Well, legally. I would give you answers from the Constitution itself. I'd be happy to do that. Not the Constitution, but the yeah. cases that actually support it. And it would be unfair of me because you didn't come here today to debate the Constitution. Well, I can, I, if you want, I can show you a couple of court cases that demonstrate us being able to do this. New York City fought against Jehovah's Witnesses for using amplification in a public park. Right. Uh, the, Sia, the, Sia versus New York. Yeah, Sia versus and New York. We talked about that. Yeah. So, but so I get, the I, key I issue up, here. I'm pleased. Uh, can I leave you with two things? Uh, I'll tell you, you probably figured this out. I am a lawyer. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would encourage you to think about I'm not telling you have to do it. If I were representing you on a case involving this, I would encourage you to look at the additional data about masks. Um, and I would encourage you to do one other thing. Is it's great that you have the the, the sound monitor mm -hmm. and you're checking regularly. Um, I would have you. Uh, if you came to me and said, "How can we best protect ourselves legally?" I would say. As well as you can, uh, because it's not the sound from there that's necessarily the highest. It may be from over there. I would, in some context, that if you have a a you know a, a brick and mortar uh, meeting center, use your parking lot, kind of mock out the same thing and monitor at different. In different spectrums, so then you'd have a really clear record of yeah. look, we're not violating that standard. Well, I, I, I appreciate the counsel so on that and encouragement, but I, my main concern for you, Mike, is for your soul. For my yeah. soul. I, and and you I, you I you said gentlemen. you said earn earn your salvation. I'm going to point you to this verse, John 5:24. Jesus says yes. this. Please hear me on this. He says hey, truly, John 5:24. Okay. Uh, he said he said, he said truly well, truly. I, I, Genuinely, I've got. I no, have, you, no, you have to take uh, it. All right. Like, <laughs> no, you got to take it. Yeah, he said, "Truly, tr to, truly, yeah. truly, I say to you, he who hears my voice and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment, but is passed out of death into life. Those who hear and believe, they truly trust in Christ, have not will have, not might have, have eternal life. They've gone from death, spiritual death, to life." And that's what I want for you, Mike. The call of the gospel is to turn from your sin to come to Christ. My life and your life are a wreck before God. We are guilty. You need a righteousness that is perfect. That's who Jesus is. And you receive that through faith. I appreciate the discussion very, very much. Thank you, Mike. Much. I do. Thank you. I, Bless I, you. I bookmarked a little.